In the previous lesson, we used the Laravel blade for each to iterate over all of our posts and output them. And then we can click through and see a single post or go back and see all of our posts. In this lesson, I want to dive further in to our posts and Laravel blade as a whole. All right, so getting started, I want to show you guys this really cool loop variable. So if we just do loop, and we just output it right here, as long as we are inside a loop, something that can iterate, for example, at for each, at while, at for, then we can access this special loop variable. If we go back and we reload our page, you'll see that it airs out, oh no. But we can actually use this at JSON directive to JSON the loop. And we'll have to remove the mustache braces when using the JSON um, directive. And that will just JSON encode the loop. And now that we have it JSON encoded, you can see we have iteration one, index zero, remaining 24, count 25, first true, last false, odd, even, death, and parent. And then if you go to the next one, you'll see iteration two, then iteration three, iteration four, iteration five, and all the way down to iteration 25. And you can see that remaining does the exact opposite. And the last output of this loop object, you see remaining zero. On the first one, you see 24. And then you can see the count, the total number of iterations. First, well, that just returns true if we're on the first iteration. Notice every single other iteration, first is false. Last is the opposite. On the last iteration, the loop last property or variable, it's true. Every other iteration last is false. Then we can actually tell if we're on an odd or even iteration of our loop. And then it will tell us if we're in a nested loop. And if we are in a nested loop, it will give us access to the parent. But we won't deal with these ones right now. So that's the loop object. Now, if we try to access loop, like the loop first outside of the loop, it's going to air out on us. It's going to completely break. Won't work. Undefined variable loop. So loop actually gets defined when we call a loop directive like app for each or while. Pretty cool. So let's do this. Let's do at if a conditional if it is the first loop then we'll just do posts and we'll add HR to make it a little bit pretty then we'll reload our page and voila we get posts now what's cool about that is because we added the posts within the at Within our for each, we're saying if loop first. Well, if we deleted all of our posts, then it would never show up. So, pretty cool stuff right there. Now, let's do two things real quick. First, I want to add some styling because that's starting to make me mad. Um, we're going to do style padding equals 10%. And we're just going to wrap the entire content section with that div. Just a little bit of padding. Next, we're going to change this H2 to H3 on post title. Then we'll go back to our page real quick. We'll reload. Just makes it look a little better. All right. After that, I want to show you guys another really cool thing. So if we do for else, a special blade directive, posts as post, then we do at end for else well in the middle here we can actually add empty and so now we can say okay if we have posts do that otherwise if we don't have any posts if it's empty if the post variable is empty then we'll just say no posts to show And then we can go back 
and reload our page. Pretty cool. Next, let's remove this margin top right here. And it's not going to do much. Um, and I'm, just to show the changes, let's reload the page real quick. Yeah, didn't do much. So on this left side, let's do some styling. But let's only style based on the odd or even loop, whether the iteration is odd or even. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go back up here to our div and say at if the loop is even, then we want a red border at else we want this hashtag 333 hex code, which is a dark gray. We want to end our if. But before we do that, we need to do order 1px solid. So now what we're saying is we're going to create a border. It's going to be, and actually, let's make this 2px. It's going to be a border, it's going to be two pixels wide it's going to be solid and then if the loop is even then it's going to be a red border if the loop is odd then it's going to be a dark gray border we're actually going to say border left not just border so now if we go back and we reload our page look at that you have this border and it actually alternates based on the loop Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. All right, so then after that, let's do this. We're gonna say small, and then we're gonna say that it is the post title, and then post, get the current loop iteration. So post one of the post count or the total loop count the total number of posts you have so then you say post one of 25 actually I don't know if I like that I thought that small would make it smaller looks like it does not so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that right after our post now if we reload we can say the title and then post one of 25, post two of 25. And let's go one step further. Let's put that above our H3, just to make it a little prettier. There we go. Post one of 25, post two of 25, all the way down. So now we're actually counting out the posts. Pretty cool. After that, let's go back and let's say, so the only other thing I can think of is we did add the functionality that says if we have no posts, then we want to say we want to show no posts to show. If we have posts, then this works. If we have no posts, we want to show that. So let's delete all of our posts real quick. PHP Artisan Tinker. And we're going to get our post eloquent model. And first we're just going to say get, get all posts, just to prove we have a list of all of our posts. After that, we're going to run truncate to truncate our posts table. Now, if we get all of our posts, it's empty. And if we go back and we reload this page, no posts to show. So now we know that our for else, for else add empty at end for else worked properly. I can actually think of one more thing we can do. It's right here where we have post content. Let's access the global string facade, which we'll learn more about facades later. But it's a string helper class, basically. We're going to say string colon colon of post content. And we want to limit the length to 100 characters. And if it's over 100 characters, we just want to say dot 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 just like that so now two line content sections are going to be gone now if we reload our page they all stay the same line length 
and if it is over 100 characters, we'll get dot dot dot, and it will cut off the remainder of content. It's also a good way to get users to want to click through. So, guys, that is Laravel Blade for each loops, um, making them fancy for else loops, using the conditional directives that Laravel gives us access to within Blade, at if, at else, at end if, um, and really getting pretty familiar with the loop variable given to us within the Blade um, templating engine when you're inside a loop. And we also used like at JSON, for example, just to at JSON and code the loop so we could see it at the beginning. Um, but I, I think a big point is if you want to use while, you can. If you want to use for, you can. If you want to use a switch statement and then end switch, and then you can do like at case, empty posts. I mean, so what we did, there's, there's tons of ways to go about doing. Um, but this is just, in my opinion, a pretty clean way. And then we also used the global string helper. Um, class which is technically a facade and yeah so I'd say that's a pretty good lesson guys so I'll see you next time and we are going to move on to one of my favorite features in the entirety of the Laravel ecosystem Laravel Mix we're going to use Laravel Mix to compile up our JavaScript and SCSS less whatever CSS preprocessors we want to compile Second life.